Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome to Satisfactory Update 5, where today we're gonna go over everything new, from the train collisions to the new biome, to all the new awesome building modes, to the secret stuff they didn't show off in the teaser trailer. So if you're excited for this, remember to subscribe and leave a like, and also, I now have a Patreon. So if you want to support me directly, check it out. First link in the description, there are some exclusive videos, and by signing up, you can join my private Discord server. So thanks in advance for checking that out, but let's get into everything. So much is new, it's unreal. Number one, you can paint all the vehicles now, which is incredible. The trains can be painted. There's a whole new, like, customization tab, the customizer. So the paint gun's irrelevant now. And you can fast paint stuff on a whim. Look at that. No more paint gun. You just paint by holding down, like, the clicking key. Incredible. And that's just the beginning. Lights on the vehicles. Very nice, very shiny. Day and night cycles have been changed so that there's a different brightness. There are new emotes. Look, this one's for you guys. However, there is not a lot of new tech. Really the only thing that's different, at least in here, is that you get a color cartridge and a build gun upgrade the customizer. And that's just when you go into this tab. So this is kind of like the color gun, except infinitely more convenient. And what's even better is you can add all these colors to your hotbar. So look at that, you wanna have a painting hotbar? Brother, you got it. But that's the only thing in like the hub. Everything else is in the awesome shop. But wait, look, my little Canadian factory cart. I love it. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing ever. I love it. Okay, uh, we're playing in a creative world here. Everything's being sheeted in. I have infinite everything, so we can check out everything right now, right here and we're invincible. Uh, I set up this world using mods in update four, da 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 da. Not as important anymore. Cause look, signs. They added in signs. After like years, they did it. The mad lads, they did it. They come in a huge variety, like a square two meter sign, long sign, short signs, large billboards, whole nine yards. And dedicated servers, that's another thing. It's like all this stuff that we've known that's gonna be added for years, and then they finally decided to add it. Also, we got a medical box and a hazard box. Personal storage skin. So I guess they just look cooler now. That's fun. Ah, yes, the new walls. Look at that. There's automated gates, inverted walls. You better believe it. New windows, full frame window and the hex frame window. Hyper excited to use that. Roofing tiles and more ramps. Checking out attachments. Now here's where we get into the crazy stuff. Pipeline floor hole. You can now build pipes through floors. Well, you could do it before with clipping, but now there's like a much cleaner way to do so. Is that with the conveyor lifts? Yup. So belts can go through floors as well. Oh, I can't wait. That has a huge implication. I'll show you in a little bit. That is like game changing. That, oh my gosh, specifically these two? You got, I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, foundations though, there's there's still so much more. Uh, special stuff, yep, yeah, all the statues. Architecture now, so we have our modern railings. Uh, they still kept in the old walkways and there's new walkways. There's also stairs in there too. Oh, that gives me ideas as well. Uh, there's the metal pillars that I somehow have unlocked. The frames. Ooh, more roofs. The metal pillars. <laughs> Beams. Beam time. Concrete pillars and road barriers. Uh, equipment, this is the whole nine yards. You have seen it before. We've been there, done that. Same with parts, nothing really new. Then the customizer. So there are still color cartridges in the game and they're used for these things, these icons. So you can paint these icons onto everything now. So we are just gonna yoink literally every single one. Thank you very much. And how much does this run us? 85 tickets? I feel like I missed something. Oh, that's cause I super did. If I scroll up here, we have new wall materials. So we have concrete to build with, uh, steel walls. I think we've seen that before. And then we have grip metal foundations. Concrete foundations, and what? 
coated concrete and concrete. Okay, I don't understand the difference. We'll find out. How many tickets now? 109? Heck yeah, buddy. And we're ready to play. Dude, there's, oh gosh. Let's check out the customizer. This is probably the best thing for decoration in all time. Using the color gun was like you had to click on every single foundation or wall. And now we just freaking go. Look at that. Painting like a madman. <laughs> Boy, there's more to make decorating easier. See the wall? Of course we can paint that too, right? But we can also switch between our swatches if we press E. Huh, why is it just white? You'd think it'd be like a different material, eh? Let's see. Oh, here we go. We have to go from colors to materials now. Ah, there's concrete. And now if we press E, we can change the wall type. So we can have concrete walls. We can have the steel walls that we're used to. Or we can just go back to the fix-it walls. But we already have those there. Then we can change the color. Can we make... No. Wait, what? Oh, we can paint the concrete. Oh, hold up here. Hold up here. Oh, that's pretty neat. And it only keeps getting better. There's more materials. So we unlocked all those foundation things, right? So we have the concrete foundation, grip metal and coated foundation, and the fix-it foundation. Gotcha. So this is the normal, like, fix-it foundation. We've seen it. We love it. It's great. But now, we live in concrete. Infinite concrete. Uh, let's check out the other things. Grip metal. Oh, it's like, I see. Uh, let's check what else. We have another coated foundation now. Hmm. So it's kind of like a sm more smooth design. Okay, so it's kind of like rough for industrial areas. This is maybe for like a dance floor or maybe a road. I'm not sure. You can do whatever you want with them. Uh, you can press E, I'm pretty sure, and you can switch between the foundation types, yep. Yeah. So you don't have to actually have everything on your hotbar. You can just have one thing, and then you can switch between everything. Uh, back to the customizer, though. So we've checked out the colors a bit. We've checked out the materials a little bit, and then the patterns. So these are the things we unlocked, and we can have these down on here. Look at that. So you can have, like, roadways and arrows and the whole nine yards. So, if we see the center line here, or maybe a center dotted line, we could easily make a road. Look at this. Look at us go. Skirt. I'm driving here. <laughs> we could have roads everywhere because the trucks were updated too. They're way more smart now. And they have cool collision. And you can paint them. So, say we had truck lad. It's red and white. Our kibitz colors. Slash Canada Colors. Splendid. Straight up splendid. The truck stations as well have been updated. You know what's weird though? They have like a tank here. They even have like a liquid sign right there. It's like, why, why not just pump the liquid in here to go to the truck? You know? I don't know. But yeah, some of the main changes they've made is that you just need to record one truck path. So we can just make one right now. We can set it up as a little loop. Then we can save and load certain truck paths so you don't have to record them over and over and over again. So it's a really nice quality of life feature. Into the new walls and stuff. There's not a lot to explain here, really. If you really want to see me mess around with this stuff, subscribe and watch a couple of my Let's Play videos. Because there I'm going to be redesigning a nuclear power plant, building a new main base, and all that jazz. So there's all the stuff. Uh, we have single window. We have the window frame. See what's going on with that. Go figure, it's a window, right? Let's zoop! And that is gorgeous. Love it. There's the new hex frame window as well. I'm gonna use the- oh man, both of these actually. I'm gonna use them everywhere. Oh! Oh! Wait! Is that a door? Is that a freaking door? Oh my gosh. We live in the future! Can we toggle settings? Always closed. Forbidden doorway. Always open. <laughs> well, well. Oh, that's gonna be weird to get used to, bud. Oh, also, it's about to turn nighttime. Uh, the fog has been updated in the game significantly, so it should be a lot better. And apparently during nights, the lighting has been updated as well. I'm not sure how, but I guess we're about to find out. I can tell you this much. The fog is leaps and bounds better. Like if we go over here, before, 
This fog was so thick that you could not see past anything. Like, you couldn't see five feet in front of your face. But now, look at this! Wallpaper simulator update five? Pretty much, but we gotta keep moving on. More stuff, new doors! Or gates, should I say. Which automatically opens when either people or vehicles approach it and can be configured. Hmm. So we could have automatic vehicle doorways then? Yes. What is that? Power slug, you're looking uh, different there, friend. Hold up, detour time. What on earth? A blue power slug? Give me that. What? <laughs> Flies! It's blue baba dee baba da. Did they replace the green power slugs with blue power slugs? I think that's what's actually going on here. I don't think this is a new tech. So they did, they replaced the green power slugs with blue ones. That makes a ton of sense. It's like we live in a green world and blue is the easiest color to see. Like that's why tarps IRL are blue because if you're in like a plane or looking down, blue stands out a lot. And I guess since that's the lowest level power slug, they wanted those to be easier to find as well. Oh, and wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, the pine cones glow. Please, please. It's like Christmas or like lanterns or, wow. This is stunning. I wanna find a new cave and then we'll check out some of the other things that are new. Oh, but here we go. This is what I wanted to see. The teardrops that they have on the cave ceilings. Look at these walls. Look at the blue. That is awesome. I cannot wait until all of the caves are decorated like this. <laughs> and just looking around here. Th this is, this is unbelievably good looking. Mr. Bean, strike a pose, my friend. Wow. This is an early access game, by the way. <laughs> that always blows my mind. Oh, but I almost forgot. They updated the Red Desert as well. They have like a new pit and a giant like obelisk rock in the middle of it now. So let's take a quick scoot through here. And what is going on with you, my fine sir? I'm pretty sure there's a cave entrance in this rock. At least that's what the trailer seemed to point out. That does not look like a cave entrance. That is a drop pod. Operational. So, wait, but the, wait, there's a drop pod right over there though. What? Maybe, I guess they're gonna get rid of that one and just have that one there? Sure. Or maybe this will be a cave later on. Mm, that looks pretty permanent. Ah, good. Who knows? But yep, that's the rock. And right over yonder is that huge new pit. The Sarlacc pit. Is there a giant worm down here? Nope, but there is a sippy drink. <laughs> Excellent driving, Kibbs. Thanks, Kibbs. Oh, and psh, okay, dude. Nice little ominous wall. Definitely nothing going to be there for sure. But I think that's enough of a world tour. Let's get back to other shenanigans like signs. Lots of different shapes and sizes. We have smaller signs. We got the big signs. We have medium signs, item signs, the whole shebang. And they're all customizable. So it looks like we have the text color, some backup color, and the background color. Okay, so let's make the text then white. Let's make the secondary backup color. I don't know, a blue? Sure, light blue, and the background color red. There we go. Nice. Uh, we can have an image here, and it could be pretty much everything. Perfect. The ultimate shenanigans. And the background now. Oh, so the background could be trees. Okay. Interesting. Wave. Oh, and it's the two colors now. So yeah, like we have the text and the primary and secondary colors. Fancy. Let's change the text to leave a like. No, 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 no. Layout. Oh. 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 Very interesting. So you can have the giant signs like that and then you could have itty bitty tiny square. That's a lot of stuff. Can you put these signs on storage bins? I'm sure you can. Got me a friend. 
Dude, that's what I'm talking about. So instead of having like the little conveyor tongue, you can just have an actual sign. And that'll make storage rooms look a million times nicer. Speaking of storage though, we have the new storage boxes. Yeah, these are just skins. They, they don't do anything different, but they sure look cool. And checking out everything else. Transportation, we checked out the trucks, the trains, we'll save that for last. The walls, again, we're gonna check that out more so in my Let's Play world. <gasps> the beams! We gotta check out the beams! Ooh, and the pillars! Metal pillar, heck yeah. That one, supports, concrete, barriers, railings, oh my. The new walkways too, hold up now. I wanna check out the beams. Beam, connect. Where is it, hello? What's going on? Ah, there you go, you have to hold down the click button. So we have a default mode, which is just building the beam straight across. Diagonal mode, which co-figure builds it on diagonals. And then freeform, where that beam is doing whatever you want. The yellow is just to mark off, uh, I think it's soft clearance or something like that. Yeah, essentially you can build whatever you want through whatever you want nowadays. So say we had a, I don't know, a particle accelerator. Sure, we can just build a beam through that if we wanted to. There are no rules anymore. We are free to do whatever we want. Beams forever. The artwork we can make too. Oh, you better believe I'm gonna be making some crazy art. We have a paintable beam. Okay. Let's connect that up to that. Like snaps on nicely. We can put a little box on there. Oh, and you can put that anywhere along the line too. Wow. <laughs> Worlds are gonna start looking crazy, bud. Crazy. Oh, and you can paint the particle accelerators too. Now, you weren't able to paint these before. Well, that's nice. Oh my gosh, and these pillars, man. These pillars, you can build them diagonally. You can zoop. I'm zooping. I'm zooping out of my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying zooping so much. So much. I love zooping. Zooping's the best. What else we got in here? We have the new walkways. Oh, and we have the stairs. These are really nice. Neat. Wait, wait. There's something I have wanted to do for the last, since the game came out. There are these walkways on the train stations. Apparently now we can connect these to this. Wow, that is so cool. Not only that, this is the thing I was actually excited for. We could build this here. And the reason I like these stairs so much is we can just build a staircase down. Look at that. It's so flush. Looks so good. I used to be able to do this with mods, but of course all the mods are broken right now, right? But now we don't need the mods. We can just do it in the vanilla game. Up, dude, update five is such a treat. Painted trains, oh my. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Probably one of the biggest parts of the update. Are you ready for this? You're not ready for this, I'm just gonna forewarn you. All right, it's time to zoop vertically. Then, over this way, wait. Zoop in! There we go. It is the... But yeah, but it's the conveyor lift floor holes. So you just build those through here. Gotcha. Very simple. Does that work through all different foundation types? I'm sure, right? Let's get the thick one. Okay. Grab you. Yep, builds through there. Can you build through multiple of these at once? The answer is almost certainly no. Uh, I guess, I guess you could have like one there and one there, but I bet you'd have to like connect that with a conveyor lift. Yeah, like in between there. And stuff probably gets really messed up if you try that. Okay. Uh, you know, even without the, just the amazing functionality of this, this looks really good as a decoration. Gotta say. Dude, I like went down a level and I thought I was gonna travel through space. <laughs> that was so scary. Okay. 
and these probably work as you'd expect, right? You have a conveyor lift. Oh, it clips with that, so let's get rid of that one. Let's build it again. You have a conveyor lift and it just snaps to that. Great, wait, wait. Behold, a build mode. <gasps> Out of all the things in update five, this was the thing I was most excited for. I knew they would do it. I knew they would do it. That's huge. You can reverse the direction on the lifts. That is the best. That is the straight up best. Look at that arrow up there. Let's see. That's gonna, <laughs> That's gonna save so much time. Like the process of having to like reverse a lift like that beforehand, back in ye old days, when we all had to suffer, was you had to build like a wall up there, then you had to have a belt that was facing, say this direction, and then you had to take this and connect it up so it would go in the right direction. But now you can just flip it. That is really, 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 really nice. In fact, dang, dang, that might be one of my favorite features, except for the best thing ever. So earlier I was teasing that there was like a mind blowing thing you could do with the conveyor lifts and the pipeline lifts that go through platforms. And that is easily, easily make like pipeline towers that go up and stuff. So say for example, we were back in the old days and I was making item spine. Uh, how you'd set them up is you'd go from wherever you are down there to the first layer. Then you'd have to have the conveyor lift go behind the wall to go back out. And then you'd be able to extend this again. And then you'd have to repeat this weird like in and out pattern. And that's how I was making all of my item spines. But now with these conveyor lift holes, give me that. We can just have them actually be vertical. I can't wait. I can't wait to get to my Let's Play world. Oh, I love this. The reversible conveyor lifts and this. I think these might be my favorite features in update five. It's just such a convenience game changer here. But then again, I haven't messed around with the beams enough either. There's just so much. There's just so much. Uh, we gotta keep moving though. What should we check out next? What is there next? Is it just the trains at this point? Oh, you better believe it's time for the true. And let's test out the new train collisions. Brick. <laughs> so we stay in the train. Okay. Little alerts pop up. Gotcha. Does anything pop up on the map? Well, if I'd hope so. <laughs> oh yeah. This is going to be my entire Let's Play world, just red flashing triangles all over the place. What a mess! Okay, a couple things I want to check out here, though, is I want to see what happens to the items. So I loaded on a couple items here, and, um... I don't know what happened! What's this say? Rerail the train. Uh, yeah. Okay, about that. Well, if I rerail this train, what, what would happen then? What happened to that other train? What? So what if we rerail this one? It's back. Huh. Okay, so then you just hear the notifications and then you'd be like, yo, I gotta go rerail the train and then fix the intersection. Gotcha. Well, that's pretty simple. It's gonna be a little chaotic, you know, you're working on a project on the other side of the world and suddenly It's kinda like the power outage noise whenever that happens. It's Ugh, it's almost as bad. Oh, and I didn't even check to see if we keep our items. Hold up, one second. Boop. <laughs> um, I thought something like that would happen. That is exceptional. Okay, and it, it does seem like we keep the items, so this is just what I threw in, and yeah, it all stays there. Okay, so that's pretty fun. Another thing, probably the biggest thing though, with these trains is not the collisions. It's actually what you can do in the stations here. So whenever you take the train to a station, there are a bunch of new settings that dramatically can shift how we play the game here. 
So let's just set up a little route here, okay? Edit timetable. Go there, sure. Go to there, sure. Doesn't matter if it can make it or not. It's irrelevant. Uh, quickly, though, you can see actually the stations on the map here. So all the UI has changed. So that's neat. The main thing, though, is if we go to the timetable and we click on this gear here, you can choose a ton of new options. So wait for one load slash unload. Uh, wait till it's fully loaded. Wait like a certain amount of time. But the big thing is the load only and unload only. So now you can mix your trains up with whatever items you want and just have stations unload certain things. So we could have one train, like this train for example, picking up, say, crystal oscillators, supercomputers, and all that stuff. And you could have it mixed between all of the freight cars and then have certain stops that just pick up the things that need to be picked up. It's very simple. It's very good. Oh yeah, and who could forget, there's also the rail signals and all that kind of jazz. Yeah, pretty, pretty important stuff if you don't want that happening. Yeah. And these signals kind of tell the trains like, hey, there's a train on the track in front of you, you better not go there, and stuff like that. Uh, however, we're not going to really mess with these in this video. They're a little complicated, and I'll kind of go over them in my Let's Play series. Because today I just want to show off everything new in Update 5. And I think we've done that. But in case I missed anything, I've posted the patch notes in the description below, and you can just give those a quick look over. So if you enjoyed, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe for more satisfactory content. And if you can, check out my Patreon as well. Link's in the description. But for now, that's going to be all here. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye